It's not enough to just watch, to observe. It's not enough to talk about the miracle. It must happen to you and to me if we are to understand it. And so, I will go to the manger to seek for myself the love and faith and hope that I've spoken of. I needn't change my clothes. God will accept me just as I am. Kings and shepherds, rich men and beggars are all equal in his sight. I need only leave the ways of the world and seek him. And finding him, I need only offer him one thing, myself.
and those who have seen the king will never, ever be the same again. They are forever changed, forever blessed. You too can be changed, not on the outside like the players in our drama tonight, but as God intended for you to be changed in your heart. The miracle of the Messiah's birth did not end at the manger in Bethlehem. For the baby that was born lives today in the hearts and minds of those who will seek him. Just as he went into the world, so now must we, to tell others of the miracle in our own lives. And as we go, we need not fear. For the God who sent angels to proclaim the birth of his son, Jesus, also counts us as his sons and daughters. And because of that, he has given his angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. They dwell among us, ever present, ever near, to protect us, to guide us, as they enfold us in our Heavenly Father's everlasting love. Amen. 